Hello everyone, here is your, uh, your explanation for the Red Room one pager assignment. So, what you're going to be doing is a little different than what we've done before, and that you are actually going to complete work by hand. So, the first thing you need to do is click here, and what you're going to do is open up this one pager, and you're going to print it out. Then, you have options. You can print the page and complete your work on the printout. You can get a blank piece of paper with no lines and sheet paper and draw you what your own version likes, looks like, or, and I would prefer that you complete this assignment by hand and not online, not using computer images or type text. Instead, use crayons and markers and colored pencils. But I know that some of you have taken classes and know how to use graphic design. If you want to create a digital art one pager, you may. If you choose this route, the effort should, effort should be demonstrated. I can tell you, I can tell something that's been created in paint and took 10 minutes, and I will not accept that. No matter what, your work should include a lot of color and visual graphics. If you are creating by hand, artistic talent is not required. Think about how to use shapes, lines, and other simple graphics such as symbols and doodles, as well as shading and other color and contrasts. But remember, you need to have intentional design here. Everything on the page should relate to the story and the elements of perception and reality that you are presenting. Really think about what you want to jump off the page. Are there certain images or words that need more emphasis? Okay. So you know that you've got to print off something, you know you got to do it by hand, but what is your task, right? Your task is to, to capture the idea of the perception of the Red Room versus the reality of the Red Room. So the perception is what is the assumption about the legend of the Red Room? People assume what? And how does the author build this up? What elements of suspense are created in this perception? So that would be, if you print, the, print out that printout, that would be what's inside of the head. The reality is what is the truth about the Red Room? So how do you know? What clues or details help you draw to this conclusion? So we will talk about some of these ideas in class, but you should also watch the recording for help. Information about the perception of the Red Room goes inside the head on the page. So write a sentence that states the assumption of perception of the, about the Red Room. This sentence is written by you. It is not a quote from the story. Next, include examples from the story of at least three different elements of suspense that contribute to this perception. Name the element of suspense and quote an example from the story. For existence, I might think that red flag words to establish the perception of the room. Inside the head, I would write for ex this, red flag words. I was about to advance, but stopped abruptly. Information about reality of the red room goes outside of the head on the page. So two sentences that state possible realities of the room. Again, you write these sentences. These are not quotes from the story. Then, you need to include at least three quotes from the support story that support the state of possibilities. Remember, you are expected to add images, doodles, sketches to, in color to enhance your one pager. What will help support the words you have put on the page? Well, yes, this is expected and is part of the grade. No, you do not have to be an amazing artist. So you've never done a one pager, you might not know what it looks like. So if you click here, these are all one pagers people have created before. And they answer the questions, they add the quotes, they add lots of color. Um, but if you look at these different examples, you see how they incorporate the answers with color. You don't have, like, you can add those artistic qualities to it, but you don't have, okay? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, don't forget to look over the rubric because that will be how you will be graded. 
If you're going for that A, I'm looking for exceptionally creative work that is original and it shows exceptional attention to detail and expectations and it meets all the expectations and you're working above and beyond. Okay, that's what's going to get you the A. It demonstrates a superb level of creative thought and has a as well as a deep understanding of perception of reality and the elements of suspense in the story. It is apparent that significant time was invested on this imaginative product. All right, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out and I really look forward to your responses. Thank you.